but she thinks I'm just gonna have cystic breast my whole life so I'll probably get more I'll probably get more fibroadenomas um my mom had a cyst removed when she was 19 but I don't think she got any more but Does it hurt? Um, kind of, but like, I don't know. It's more just like tendon sore because it's really bruised, but it doesn't like hurt. But I'm also, like they gave me medicine, so. I can't see up close for some reason. It's blurry, but I can't tell if it's just because I'm really fucking tired. Because, like, obviously, um, I just had this morning. But I had to be there at, like, 8 a.m., so I left my house at, like, 7.40. But I didn't go to bed till, like, 1 30 probably i couldn't sleep all night like i was up on and off because i was like i get super anxious for these things so i was anxious all night like i just couldn't stop thinking about it not even like worried like that's just how i get i guess for like stuff like this and then i woke up at five like wide awake could not go back to sleep so i just stayed up till seven got up and like showered and stuff and then i went and had my surgery But, um, yeah. My throat hurts a little bit. What are the sequels of her surgery? To be honest, I don't know what that means. Jesus. I'm recovering well so far. I shouldn't. She put dissolvable stitches on the inside and then like skin going the outside. So I shouldn't scar too bad. Um, I scar easily though, but hopefully it will go away over time. But I mean, I'm young, I'm healthy, so. Um, I should have a good recovery. How are you feeling after the surgery? Well, I mean, obviously I would put under like anesthesia and stuff. Um, they gave me like the happy gas before they put me under, so I was very loopy. I don't remember much after he gave it to me. I remember being in the operating room for a brief second. Like I remember him putting the mask on me to like actually put me to sleep. That's all I remember. And then I woke up in the recovery room and I had to stay in there for like an hour. I was just like, super tired thirsty a little nauseated but like they gave me water and crackers and like um nausea medicine and all that they took good care of me they were all really sweet people um and my mom works for the hospital so she knows a lot of the people there so i always feel comfortable but i just have not slept at all today because Got home and ate because I hadn't eaten anything since last night. 
And then, um, Lyric and Taylor came to visit me for a bit. And then Kylie came and visited me for a bit. So I've been able to really sleep. I have been drinking water. I've been drinking Gatorade too. They gave me also a bunch of IV fluids today. So my pee has been clear basically all day, which is good. I was going to look up something, but I don't remember. Also, the IV they gave me in my arm for, like, fluids and all the medicine and stuff. Like, it fucked me up. It hurts, and it's a big, ugly bruise. I bruise super easily. It's annoying. I think the surgery only took because I went back at nine. They got me back there like an hour early. Um, I think like an hour or so. I'm also thirty to forty five minutes, but I don't know. I don't I like. I don't sit. I don't remember. And then, like I said, I was in the recovery room for an hour. I do remember waking up and my heart rate and blood pressure was super high. Like, I felt like I couldn't breathe. Um, and I was hurting a little bit, but it wasn't anything, like, too bad. Just kind of uncomfortable. And I can't shower till tomorrow. Which I mean, I showered this morning, so it's fine. I'm really just so tired. Yes, it was sweet of her. She stayed for like four or five hours. I'm not sure.
Be on your phone, especially on that fucking highway. I didn't see it, but yeah. Okay, so he, he was in, he was two lanes away from me. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then he started merging into the lane next to me, right? Okay. And then into this, yours? No, just the lane next to me. This car behind us, he tries to squeeze in between me and the semi while he's getting the lane next to me. Like, literally almost took out my fucking, like, windshield thing. Oh my God. Are you on, um... I-65, right? I think so. I'm not, like, in Nashville yet. Okay, yeah, but you're on that road. Yeah, and then that fucking semi honked at me. I'm guessing for being beside him, but he didn't even get in my lane. So he I'm probably like, honked at that car that was trying to get in between y'all. No, that was, like, five minutes ago, so no one was answering me. I tried to call Jenna, too, and no one picks up. Well, it didn't go through on my laptop for some reason, so I had to call you on there. I was just fucking stupid. Now I'm pissed off again. Yeah, fucking people hate stupid drivers. People don't want to drive up here, especially Nashville. Anyways, I just want to tell my story. Okay. Say hey to everyone. Hi, live. Hope you guys enjoyed her little rant. You're getting so rage. Okay. Bye, I love you. I love you. Be careful. I Yeah, people don't know how to drive with this shit up here, especially, like, Nashville area. Like that, like, what, five-lane interstate? It's so bad, it stresses me the fuck out. People are dumb, careless. Going fast as fuck, for no reason. I don't know, I go pretty fast too, but, like, not as fast as some people. throat would hurt. Yeah. I don't know when we're gonna live in the same town. Hopefully soon, but who knows. Fuck, she's not even in Nashville yet. Kristen Stewart. She looks like a crackhead in this movie. Yeah, we visit as much as we can. It was just nice. It's only like an hour drive. Now that I'm home, it's an only an hour. So. It's very nice, convenient. I mean, the drive kind of sucks, but like the way to get there. But one hour isn't bad at all. It's only 9.37 here, but I could definitely, I could literally go to bed right now.
No, that was only surgery. I just wanted to get these ones out to make sure it wasn't anything to be worried about. Um, just to be safe and sorry, you know. So if I get more, I'm just probably going to leave them. I don't want to have surgery again. That shit's kind of ass. I also have this, like, patch behind my ear. Emotion sickness. I need like a popsicle or something. Me and Carly have been together seven months, actually almost eight. January 15th will be eight. Then May will be our one year. That's crazy. Oh, I had a lumpectomy. Oh, I want to. Probably no more piercings. I had to take my belly button one out. Because that shit was hell infected. Like, bad. Like, I didn't have a choice but to take it out. And I had to get, like, antibiotics for it. Um, it's better now. It's fine. It's just weird not having it in there. But I definitely want more tattoos. Probably no more piercings, so. I mean, I have all three of my holes pierced. That's good enough for me. really wanted to watch that. Hmm. Timothy. Um, look at my TV, sorry. Um, we actually kind of like talked about giving each other promise rings on our one year. Obviously, a lot can change in those months, but for now, that's our plan. Is see it promise rings for one year? I don't know. Is that too soon? Like, I can't decide. Like, I want to because I don't see myself being with anyone else. I don't talk to any other people. Like, literally, it's just her. I got to buy it. So, I don't know. I just need to get her, um... Her ring size and I mean I kind of have a general idea of what she would like though like what kind of ring well that's the thing I definitely see her in my future I don't see why I wouldn't. Is it in Google Play? I 
Cause he just left. I'm sad. I'm waiting for her to get home. That's why I'm on live. So I wouldn't fall asleep. Little rascals. One year is May 15th. And like, of course we love each other and all that, but like, I mean, everyone knows relationships aren't easy, especially long distance, so... Yes, I have a Roku. Um, but, yeah, I think everything will work out fine. Uh, yeah, it definitely makes us stronger. It's just like we have both have trouble like talking about things when we get upset or bothered, which we really need to work on. But that's like it. Because it just, you know, it builds up, makes things worse. People just get upset. It's just, it's hard to do. It's not like we do it on purpose. I just don't know how to talk about my feelings and she doesn't like to, so... It's just something we have to work on. I'm not too worried about it. Does it scare you that guy can end up with someone else? Um, definitely. That, no. I hate that. I even hate thinking about it. Like, that would fucking destroy me. I would be sad, I would be jealous, I would be mad. All of the above. So. I will only be seeing her with me for the rest of our lives. No one can change my mind. This is not much as a way. Wait, the girl delete her comment? Yeah. As she should, though. It makes me feel superior. I don't even do it like to be a bitch. It's just like, no, that's my girlfriend. Fuck off, you know? Yeah, I saw that one too, but the other one made me more upset. Apparently, I scare a lot of people when I get jealous. Like, I'm not a physical, violent person. Like, I won't get physical with you. But I will say some shit. Like, I don't know. What's mine is mine. I don't fucking share. Protectives. That's a, yeah. For sure. 
And like I shouldn't because I know Kylie doesn't, um, you know, give attention to the comments or like give a fuck about it. But I don't know. That's just me. I care. Not saying she doesn't, but like, you know what I'm saying. I just need to be heard. But I'm probably going to get off soon. Just because I need to eat something so I can take the rest of my medicine. Brush my teeth, change, all that good stuff. Get comfy. Technically, I'm still on break. Um, Kylie gets protective sometimes. I feel like she does a lot more than I think. She just doesn't like to, like, show it or, like, admit it. Which I think it's attractive, honestly. Like, if you get, you know, a little jealous. Like, obviously, don't be fucking psycho about it. Like, it just shows me that you care. Like, I think it's attractive. I don't know. That's just me, though. But anyways, like I said, I'm probably going to go. Yes, I hope I feel decent tomorrow because I start my babysitting job. <laughs> so. Thank you guys for chatting with me for a bit. And for the... Have you calling big to Kaylee? Oh yeah, she did. But it wasn't like in that kind of way, you know. It was like the friendly way. But I get it. Anyways, thanks for talking to me.